But back to your question, Jack, um, I think that there's very few organizations that do even produce media on a wide scale, and that was kind of the um, one of our reasons for creating this nonprofit was that we worked um, in collaboration with Beyond Toxics as well as the community of Gold Beach to produce Drift, and Lisa Arkin of Beyond Toxics actually introduced us to the community, so thanks to Lisa for that. But we were kind Lisa, of seeing, Lisa who? Lisa Arkin. She's the executive director of Beyond Toxics. Okay. So um, hearing from her, and but also hearing from the great people at Oregon Wild, that we do need documentaries like this or short films because people respond so well. So that kind of helped us form OHEH because this is obviously a passion of ours and we love making movies and interviewing people. But there is a need for ethical media production in Oregon and I think all over. And the opportunity that we have with OHEH is to build these connections between nonprofits and to help each other out because there is a power in numbers and when we all work together that's when we can actually see things change and that's when productive and positive change happens this is when we all work together and you know have our, our focus on the, the right goal and not kind of aiming towards each other. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So our current campaign right now is helping the residents of Gold Beach fundraise for their trial coming up in May. Um, and I took a couple of months of just filming and um, trying to find a way to expose this issue to the public while having a focus of um, helping this community. So I created this um, short film. It this is our two yeah it's like a short two minute film um, I and again like I, it was a collaborative project I had help from Emma and help from other filmmakers such as Shane Anderson who shared film with me so we created this fundraiser mostly just to fund for um, expert witnesses at trial and I don't know if you want me to go into the details of the litigation but um, we're hoping that people spread this trailer around and um, hopefully they understand that this isn't necessarily for attorney's fees. Well, it isn't for attorney's fees. It's to pay for a toxicologist and for a helicopter expert to stand up um, at a trial and say, yeah, this was ultra-hazardous activity and these people were affected in X, Y, Z ways. So. So yeah, our hope, our goals of this video is that it's a simple share. You can send it to your family. You can send it to your friends. Um, it's a it's a really simple way to get the message out and and yeah, it's an, an opportunity to get involved and learn about the issue. Yeah. Do you have a trial date? Yeah. So trial begins May third, and it's set to go for about three weeks, two and a half maybe. So that would be May eighteenth. And it's actually set in Curry County, which will be um, interesting since uh, the jury pool will come from that county. Um, yeah. Are you going to be there with a crew to uh, follow the court case? Yeah. Hopefully I'll be able to make it, yeah, to keep everyone updated on what's going on. Um, we're hoping that the date stays how it is. Yeah, it stays May 3rd. The trial's also been pushed back, I think, three times. The original date was November, I want to say, and the defense, uh, the helicopter company, and the Timberland donor have just been doing everything that they can to exhaust this poor community, exhaust their financial resources, and just delay this as long as possible. So it's pretty frustrating. So, Carol, can, Carol, can you talk about the court cases that you've been involved with? Yeah, you know, most of mine have not been for damages, as in this case, which is important that that's finally happening, um, but it's much more difficult because there's a, a rather, um, well, it's more difficult. You have the timber companies can and the chemical companies can outspend you no matter what and uh, it's 
well, their whole philosophy in a court case is to delay things until the plaintiffs die off, and I've actually heard that be said by a defendant, and um, that's what they do. They will try to outspend you, wear you out, uh, use you up, and then offer to settle for peanuts, and or keep the record entirely secret as part of the settlement. Uh, it happens again and again, and uh, I don't. Th I think court cases like this are important because they do cost those companies money, but nothing like <laughs> the impact that the oh, the cost can have on the on the on the plaintiffs.